myself. Uh, challenge 365 no slides challenge. Uh, and I'll today uh, I'll be talking about my way of thinking. Uh, it all started in 2020. It was post-COVID time. Uh, I just finished my masters. I was thinking about changing uh, uh, my career. And by at the time after so there was post-COVID, everybody was searching for hope and the positive thinking uh, theme was very popular. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not talking about just regular people who are just uh, believing in self, etc., etc. I'm talking about those who are like, uh, I wanted to uh, uh, go to Kemet, but positive thinking went. Uh, because of positive thinking, I'm studying at MIT or. I want to go to USA because of positive thinking, I'm at Mars, something like that, something unreal. But when uh, I was watching them on Instagram, scrolling and seeing such people, uh, I want to be something like them. It was like very bright, uh, something uh, attractive, something over there standing and I want to reach and grab it. But it is hard to change yourself forcefully. Uh, you can change yourself, you can evolve. But I didn't understand that at that time. Uh, at, uh, and as I said, I want to change my career. I want to. Uh, I got a new job, and uh, I, I became an IT specialist. And uh, I started to work hard. I believe that if I will work hard, uh, do a lot of stuff. I, I will be valued, my value will rise, and uh, everybody will be like, Ah, oh, no blood, he's hardworking, etc. And it doesn't work like that, at least at my first company. And uh, I started to burn out. Actually, there was time, like two, three months, where uh, I was working about 50, 60 hours a day. And I was totally burned out. Uh, my daily life was, I would wake up at uh, 8 o'clock, uh, don't eat breakfast, because breakfast polluted us, uh, go to the work, uh, come back at 7, prepare a meal, uh, because my wife was taking her masters at the evening, she was working full time and masters at the evening, so I was cooking, and I'm a very good cook because of that, uh, and we didn't have enough time to talk with each other. I didn't have enough time with myself and I was burning out. And uh, it was, um, I think, I was pushing myself further because of this positive thinking idea. Because one of the main principles of positive thinking is you should believe in, in yourself. You should trust yourself. You should push more. Tomorrow may be the day that will change everything. And every day I would be like going to the work, sitting, working, and I'm thinking, tomorrow something will happen. Tomorrow CEO will come and like, oh no blood, you are so good. Come with me, you will be getting three million dollars every day. Nah, nothing that like that happened. And every day I was pushing myself just because of because I want to be a positive thinker. And it all stopped one day uh, when my wife told me uh, one thing, and now I'm citing her word for word. Nurbulat, my love, you, I'm the luckiest woman in the world be because I met you. I will be eternally grateful for meeting you. And further, I don't remember, she said something like, if you don't, you, if you don't know your worth yourself, how can others value you? And that changed me, like in the video. And uh, I started arguing at, uh, at my work, like, oh, this is not my task, why are you giving this? I work eight hours, I work nine hours, uh, or sometimes I would work like 12 hours and I would write, hi, yesterday I worked 12 hours, today I'm coming four hours later, etc. And at the beginning I was a little bit afraid, because I thought, oh, who are you? Get out. Uh, and I would, they would fire me. No, nothing like that happened. And I became more selfish and I started uh, taking care of myself. So I, my way of thinking became from positive thinker to selfish thinker. I was like, I'm the most important person in the world. 
others can wait. I started going to the doctors, going to the gym. I got better job. Uh, I became taller. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it was very good. Overall, my life became more positive. I get out of depression without medicine. Uh, by the way, if you have some kind of depression, you need to go check yourself because it's actually very bad case and it may be medical. Okay, and who? Um, this summer, I was thinking like, oh, my life is great, but I feel like I'm standing in one place. I'm not moving anywhere. I have a good job, yeah, but I feel like I am standing in, at one place. I didn't know how to get out of it. I, I knew that I'm in my comfort zone and I'm too deep in my comfort zone and it's hard for me to get out. And one day I was scrolling through YouTube, uh, through Instagram, uh-huh, I thought it's thankful again, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a, a video of a guy who said, uh, if you will die tomorrow, what you will leave behind yourself? And that actually stuck with me. I spent like, I don't know, a lot of time, like three minutes thinking, oh, it's very hard, etc. And uh, I mean, if I will die tomorrow, does my family have enough money to live without working? Uh, and does my uh, parents have enough money to buy a new house, etc. So I became a negative thinker. And actually it works with me. So every time when there is a problem or there is a decision, I think if I would die tomorrow, like two seconds before dying, what I would think about this decision? Would I be like, oh, okay, it doesn't matter, or would I just go in barge in, argue, take what's mine. And yeah, now I'm negative thinker. <laughs> and I, uh, what am I laughing? I think my way of thinking is the, is the most amazing way of thinking. And if you want to know about it, I can make 365 <laughs> <laughs> worst thinking uh, project. Uh, so why, what I want to say with my message, with my presentation, I want to say, Everyone is different and uh, you, d you should not ever feel like your way of thinking is not right, is not correct, or maybe it needs some changes, etc. People evolve, people doesn't change. So believe in yourself and be selfish, be positive and be negative. Thank you.